So I was answering a question before the stream went down previous time. No Windows updates. Keep an eye on the frames. By the way, guys, I want to know if people are dropping and frames are dropping and shit. So anyway, uh, people were asking me about this Logan Paul thing, right? Which was, you know, uh, and I, I wanted to establish uh, a few things right at the, uh, right the get-go. And that is that, you know, you're going to see a lot of people talking about this that maybe wouldn't ordinarily talk about uh, YouTube or news or current affairs because, you know, uh, Logan Paul is uh, um, obviously somebody with 15 million YouTube uh, subscribers, right? So it's a very good way to piggyback on somebody else's success. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we can kill this hair once again. Yeah, and again. Come on. Brilliant. Definitely wreck the solar panel while you're at it. Um, so basically, like, you know, so I, I, I want to just establish that right at the fucking get-go. That There's a load of people who wouldn't ordinarily talk about this shit that are going to talk about this shit. And they're going to act outraged. Uh, and what you've got to remember is there's probably a bunch of people who are just making the video for views. And, the, and you know, that's almost as bad, isn't it? as sort of uh making the video itself because you are gaining traffic from somebody else's tragedy misfortune you know that's what people are doing so anyway like i i, I wouldn't want to be the guy who says who are the ones that are doing it for clicks and who are the ones that are just genuinely doing it because they genuinely care about the topic you know as somebody that does a sort of alternative news podcast you know i i think it's well within my wheelhouse and well within my remit you know don't go that way dog come this way uh to talk about it right i i think i'm entitled to do so um wait what can we hold this yeah. oh it's rotting that one's fresh though um yo dude lick 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 my balls right. So I think I think I'm entitled to talk about it because it's something we would usually do. I'm not doing it for any extra clicks or any of that stuff. So I mean, a lot of people like are upset about it. I totally get why. I mean, the way that he's trying to defend it is so retarded because it's very clear to me. He went to a place where everybody knows you're going to see bodies there. There's been multiple documentaries on this, and they've all been handled with with class, dignity, whatever you want to call it. You know, they go into the forest and they blur out any potentially identifying, um, you know, clothing, faces, whatever it is. And they talk about the phenomenon of there being this one area uh, where people go to commit suicide. And there have been other documentaries about it. Go see the bridge for another example where people are throwing themselves off the Golden Gate Bridge, I think it is. So people... Um, like it, quite clearly the intention of the video is to go and see a dead body and film it basically for shock value which i think is really tasteless and and, and pathetic certainly should fall uh on the outskirts of um you know sorry sorry on the on, on the fault line of like youtube's rules right you shouldn't be able to to do that um and monetize it and then he didn't monetize it but then it went trending anyway so i watched the reaction as well when he found the body and it's just so pathetic like, yo 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 i'm so freaked out man that's a fucking dead body yeah that is a dead body what a normal like person would do is you know when you find a dead body you've got an obligation to report it that's somebody's loved one that might be missing they might not know they're dead and you're gonna put it up on youtube first you know put it this way uh you know if if, if you or a family member who knows somebody has gone missing and you one of the first things you would say is oh they were wearing this when we last saw them they were wearing these clothes so you would probably know if you saw it on youtube if that was your son or father or uncle or mother or daughter or whatever right so i mean just the idea of like filming a dead body and putting it up for public consumption is really repellent in and of itself for that reason so um so yeah for me I, you know it's 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 just bad fucking form but why is anybody surprised right like these people 
and I've said this multiple times, these big YouTubers, these big streamers, they don't give a fuck about anything that rational, normal people would give a fuck about. They judge their life by numbers cl and, and clicks and money and everything else. They, they judge their success, you know? Like when people stream and they're like, oh, money, you know, I've seen big streamers cry because they're only getting 2,000 people watching their stream. Which just shows, like, not only a disconnect from reality, but an utter contempt for their hardcore audience. And it just means that you're going to see these sociopaths, these people that completely lack empathy, these people that are completely divorced from reality, continually do more and more to get more hits, to get more clicks, because that is, all, that is how they judge their success and worth as a, 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 you know, as a human being. And obviously... In, in the world of, of Logan Paul, that dead person doesn't matter. It, it, it's irrelevant that we're dealing with a dead person. It's irrelevant that there's a family out there that's going to be in pain and suffering. Will filming a dead body get me millions of views? Will it be talked about? Will it get me into the public domain? Will it make me go viral? If the answer to these things are yes, then that's all they give a fuck about. And, and you know, we see this time and time again. You know, it goes from, um, you know, it, it, whether it's the supposed booby streamers doing accidental nip slips or, oh, I've left my camera on and I'm having sex. Oh, God, how embarrassing. Um, or like these fucking adult stream, uh, the, the, you know, these, the, sorry, these male streamers that don't want to be considered adult streamers that put ridiculous content in, you know, guys like Ice Poseidon, oh, you'll never DDoS me or swap me, mm, you know, like just goading the audience and stuff. These are not normal human beings. They're not fucking rational human beings. They don't think about the world in the same way me and you do. They just want the clicks. They want the hits. They want, you know. So if you've got to use someone's corpse as a prop, they'll do it. And that's and that's it in a fucking nutshell. If anyone's surprised, you ain't been paying attention. Yeah, and I mean, again, imagine being in a world where you think you're a good person because you didn't monetize you filming somebody else's corpse. Imagine that. Imagine coming out and going, "Hey, bros, I'm 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 a good human being because I I only partially exploited someone else's tragedy."